Yep, what's going on YouTube? This your boy Showtime, the czar, the flyest vlogger on the planet. Welcome back to the channel. Got some hip hop news and cultural updates for you guys as always. But before we jump into the video, I need you to do something for me. See that subscribe button on your screen. I need you to go ahead and click that button and subscribe to the channel. I need you guys to click that bell icon. Turn that on so that you are notified each and every time one of my videos drop. Now, let's get into today's video. So, Noah Cyrus, the younger sister of Miley Cyrus, a.k.a. Hannah Montana, has some choice words for Candace Owens. Now, Candace Owens said uh, something about Harry Styles, saying that there are no more manly men in the world. Bring back manly men. Something to that effect, right? And Noah Cyrus was defending Harry Styles because Harry Styles was wearing a dress on the cover of a Vogue magazine. And she was defending him, and she said that, quote, Harry Styles is wearing this dress better than a lot of you nappy-headed hoes. End quote. Now, here's what I have a problem with with what she said. White people, if you're listening, you cannot call black people racial slurs like nappy, like boy, like monkey, etc. You will always get caught out. You will always be looked at as racist when you use those slurs when mentioning black people. Now, the only, again, the only thing I have a problem with is that she called Candace Owens a nappy-headed hoe. If she would have called her any other kind of hoe, lame hoe, weak hoe, broke hoe, ugly hoe, all that other kind of stuff, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, now, the reason I don't have a problem with that is because it's Candace Owens. And because Candace Owens tends to always be attacking black people, I'm not going to defend her. I'm not going to defend someone who constantly looks for a way to make black people look terrible. A, couple, a while ago, I mentioned that Candace Owens said that George Floyd is not a quote unquote murderer and black people should stop looking at him like that. In other words, meaning that he's some not some type of hero. Now, she never said he should be killed, but at the same time, she said black people shouldn't be looking at him as a hero, which I feel like nobody was looking at George Floyd as a hero. We just said he shouldn't be killed. So for that, I just think she's trash for that. And I thought that was whack. Now, back to the story. I don't have a problem with Noah Cyrus defending her friend. It's just the terminology that she used. Now, uh, Charlemagne the guy gave her a dunk here today, which is rightfully so, right? You can't use racial slurs like that. The only thing I didn't agree with with Charlemagne was that he said that Candace Owens, we, black people, we can't be pick and choosing who we want to defend. Candace Owens is black, which is true. And we can't just say, well, because it's Candace Owens, she could be called nappy-headed hoe. And I disagree with that. I don't think she should be called nappy-headed hoe because nappy-headed refers to black women as a whole. Because when you say the word nappy, you're referring to people of color. And I think you can't drag everyone down when you're specifically targeting one person. So I disagree with her being called a nappy-headed hoe. But if she wanted to call her anything else, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the slander of Candace Owens being caught anything else because, again, if the shoe was on the other foot, Candace Owens is not taking up for black people. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Did uh, Noah Cyrus take it too far or do you not care because of it being Candace Owens? Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, on to the next subject here. So, Billboard released their top 10 songs of 2020. And coming in at number one is The Weeknd with Blinding Lights. Obviously, I'm going to have problems with this because that definitely wasn't the top R&B song of 2020 in my opinion but I definitely think WAP is should be higher than number 10 as well as Savage I think WAP Savage should be in the top five um Blinding Lights should probably be like I don't know six seven maybe uh then they got uh what's popping a little too far down too but let me know what you guys think of this list here did Billboard get it right or are they way off and should some of these songs be rearranged or who would you put in your top 10 of songs for 2020 when it comes to R&B and hip hop, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, and the last couple things I want to talk about before I get up out of here, it's going to be a short video today. So Chance the Rapper released a series of tweets saying that Jeremiah is doing better and he's recovering from his battle with COVID-19. If you remember, Jeremiah went in the hospital a while ago uh, with a severe case of coronavirus. So I'm glad to see that he's doing better. His health's getting better. His strength's getting back up. So shout out to Jeremiah. Also, happy birthday to the one, the only, the great jay-z man happy birthday he turns 51 today let me know what you guys favorite jay-z track or album is in the comments below but that's all i got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment share subscribe and until next time i'm out of here y'all peace